Hello once again boys and girls and welcome back to Plus One Gaming Reviews. This is Rob. And today we are taking a look at um, a couple mods here. We've got a lot actually. We've got two armor mods and one weapon pack slash game modification mod. I guess you could put it that way. The um, I know I said last time I need to look for uh, new armor and shield and I did that but I don't know if I should be using these uh, armors for the rest of the game. I'm gonna try and get by them without you seeing what they are. So let's go around this way. They should be right in front of me. So the first armor is ah screw it, whatever. We've got um two armors here. We've got Warhammer 40k and Assassin's Creed. And um the Warhammer Oh, my notes are gone. I got all tapped for a second. Hold on a sec. Okay, I got my notes back up. The Sky Rule mod, which is um for the High Rule Shield area, which you probably saw right away, aside from the Space Brain armor. And the Master Sword. It also adds rupees and eventually other stuff. I'm pretty sure he's going to add Ocarina and whatever came in the new one. I haven't played the new one yet. But the, it's called Sky Rule. It's been Overmind 5000, which you can probably find it on um, the ne uh, Nexus as well as on the Steam Workshop. And uh, the next one is Skyrim 40k. This Warhammer mod. It adds a whole bunch of uh, Space Green armor. Wow, why did I like that for a second there? And uh, it's found underneath miscellaneous. It's forgeable. It's found underneath miscellaneous. I'll show you how to forge it in a second. It's more like a god damn. Every time I record, god damn it, man. And then um, over here we've got Assassin's Creed armor, and uh, that's not that's not forgeable. You find that in uh, Riverwood in front of the Riverwood Trader. I'll show you that later. But yeah, you get Warhammer 40k and Assassin's Creed shield and a sword. So let's go show you how to forge these things. Alright, here we go. Head to my forge. Again, I'm in my Dragonius Tower. By far, probably my favorite mod I've done. So let's go to the forge. And, uh, the shield is underneath steel. You need Hillian, it's called, instead of Hyrule. I don't know if that's the name they gave it in the new game. I have no idea, to be honest. I haven't played the new one, but, um, in order to make that, you need one leather strap, three steel ingots, one iron ingot, and one yellow rupee. And you get the rupees by going into the uh, consoles. And you, I had to set my play. I had to set my weight. Um, you go help. Oops, help. God damn. Rupees, or rupee rather. And then it gives you the list: green, blue, yellow, red, purple, orange, and silver. And then uh, to get the Master Sword, you actually have to go in and type in Help Swords. This is how I found it. I'll put the, the item codes up after I'm done editing this video. I'll put it in the description. And, oh, that didn't work great. It's just Sword. And then it's uh, second one on the list there, Master Sword. Silver Great Sword, Master Sword, Spell Sword. So it's right in the middle there. And that's how I got them. I couldn't find uh, this, the Master Sword on any of these in the... Um, forging here. God, why am I drawing such a blank right now? And then for what did I actually make one of those shields? Steel. I wrote, yes. Okay. And then we go into the um the space screen armor, which is found in miscellaneous, and you start off with Black Legion. You get the Black Legion, the Black Templar, the Blood Ravens, the Dark Angels, Grey Knights, Iron Snakes, Corn Berserkers, Legion of the Dance, Salamanders, Soul Drinkers, Space Wolves, Thousand Suns, and Ultramarines. And um I showed you already I have the Dark Angels armor, so let's go ahead here and make um Berserkers, why not? Just be different. And to make these, it doesn't actually cost you anything to make them. It's, uh, where is it? I gotta. Whatever. I'll go to the boots. It requires gold. So you, you effectively you buy these. You don't actually forge them. So it's, it's not much. Like maybe, I don't know, 30 bucks for the entire thing. Not even. Maybe 10. Let's see. 3, 2, 3. And it's probably like 20 or something like that. I don't know, but there we go. Got the um the armor now, so let's pop these on. Back up, turn around. Items: apparel. Put the shield on. It's a massive shield. Look at that thing. Corn berserker, corn berserker, corn berserker, and corn berserker. There we go. Oh right, I need the uh, the sword as well. Er, oh I didn't add it. <laughs> Stupid. Tab. I need to. Uh, player uh, item zero C zero zero six eight F five one. 
added master sword. Perfect. Items, weapons, master sword. There we go. And the sheath and the, the sword are actually incredibly large for what they are, but on a space screen, the shield looks about the right size. So, well, my texture pack's kind of low, unless he's the texture pack that came with this is shitty. But I'm guessing it's probably my game. All right, let's, uh, oh yeah, the armor gives you bonuses. Uh, apparel, right? <laughs> and you get a uh, wrong thing. All right, active powers. It gives you fortify carry weight, fortify health, uh, fortify uh, stamina, and uh, resist poison and speed. And water breathing, right, as well. And the stats on these, they go, they go across all the armor, so it doesn't matter. Corn Berserker gives you, goddamn, 60 armor, 24 armor for the boots, 24 for the gloves, 36 for the helmet. And gives you a whole bunch of bonuses as well. So now I'm going to take you to the Assassin's Creed armor. Alright, we are outside Riverwood. Let's just hop off my horse here. It looks really funny riding a horse in uh, Space Marine armor. So it should be right over here. Here's the Riverwood Trader. Pull up the map. Local map. Riverwood Trader right here. And there's the bag. It's right there. It's got the red set I've got hooked up or set up inside uh, the Dragonius Tower. So there's a blue set as well. I'll quickly hop this, pop this stuff on. God, I keep messing up my words. I keep messing up my words. Nope, oh, crap. Apparel. Gloves and hood. There we go. And now you can look all Assassin's Creedy. To be honest, if I were to, I don't know, I might, I might wear these. This is, uh, as far as I know, it doesn't give you any bonuses to anything. It just looks cool. Yeah, it just... You'd think they would give you bonuses to assassination, stuff like that. But is this just a reskin of the, the Dark Brotherhood stuff? I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to look too closely into it, but it looks really cool. So uh, there you go. Got the Master Sword, Hyrule Shield. And, uh, yeah, I thought my mic had been muted for a second there. <laughs> and some cool armor. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to be awesome today, tomorrow, and every day to come. If you have a mod you would like to see me do, don't hesitate to ask me. Just send me a message over YouTube, and I will take a look. Um, I have a couple mods I want to do myself first. I mentioned them in the last spotlight. So that's creepy. Sorry, TV. So uh, I will see you next time with... Uh, I think I'm going to do the Portal mod next time. It's an alpha, so it's a little glitchy still, and uh, I don't think they're complete, but it's an alpha, so it'll be worth taking a look. Thanks for watching. Bye.